hello everyone welcome back to climbing system tutorial so uh, in previous video we had uh, animations set up for uh, left and right movement in this video we will uh, check for uh, you know full brace uh, trace and uh, we will do uh, We will make the character climb uh, with, with, with the legs, uh, I mean, with the, the full hang. Okay. So now if we see here, so we trace the spine, but uh, you know, uh, it, 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 it doesn't, uh, uh, the animations are from uh, the, the normal braced hang. So we will do that trace here. So go to the climbing component. Create a new function. Trace. trace. Uh, here. We will do a spear trace. Here, the trace channel we will leave it as visibility. So, any item that's blo that that that's uh, that that's blocking this trace, the, it will be a braced uh, hang. If nothing is blocking, then it will be a full hang. Full hang. Get the rep. Break this vector. Make vector here. So X and Y will be the same. For Z, there will be a minus offset. So I'll put 20 here. And this is my end trace. So we will trace it from the opposite and similarly get the active rotation or get forward vector, get active forward vector then multiply it by multiply it by 150 then add it with this. put it in start trace radius we can keep it as 20 and uh, debug we will use the same debug variable okay. then put a branch here so if this is true and uh, create a variable for full huh? So if this is true, set full hung. Okay, we, we don't need a branch here actually. But anyways, we are going to set this. And we will set it to the opposite of the return value. Which means if there is a successful trace, then uh, full hung should be false. If there is no trace, then it has to be a full hand and uh, yeah okay. so this we will call it in uh, so this full brace trace we will call it in uh, forward trace function And we have to pass this value uh, to our uh, interface also. So open our uh, climb interface.
so full hung is set here and we go to the anim bp and uh, promote that to a variable now we have whether the character has to hung fully or not now what we have to do is we can change the animation suffering so here if you see enter go to the grab ledge here uh, get this full hung get full hung then blend post blend post by both so if full hung is false we will uh, connect this okay this is the animation we will put that here okay stand to t and even that we will uh, start it at 0.6 Stitch it. Okay, we, we haven't set up the idle uh, function yet. Uh, sorry, the idle animation yet. Let's set that also and after that. So even on hang, we have to do the similar thing. So this is fine. Uh, we have to adjust the offset a bit. So that we can do it in the climbing component. Uh, we created a function uh, for uh, moving the character, if you remember. In the grab ledge, we created uh, Va uh, va values for uh, uh, moving the car move the, move the capsule component to a push so we will adjust here so earlier we just had uh, one uh, variable option we will uh, switch the value depending upon full hang or not so on the grab ledge we have this so here uh, what we will do is get the full hang Sorry, full hung get then we will do a select float and connect this to height offset similarly uh, we will uh, do one for uh, our normal offset So this values, you know, uh, this differs from from what I set and what what you guys might set. So you can just play around these numbers to get the right one that fits your need. Mm, it's still not matching. Come to the climb component, and here we have to set a few more things. So set the movement action to none so that uh, it, it doesn't uh, so we have to set the movement action to none here and apart from that once we are in hanging state we we have to uh, 
uh, still uh, check few more uh, traces so we will call the forward trace here and uh, the offset we will set it to 70 itself we don't need to change that and do a branch so this this get traced uh, uh, you know uh, this, this continuously uh, traces and then maintains the right position for the character this okay it works fine here okay so then the, now the hands position is right so if you want to further adjust you can uh, play around with the values there and we will set the move animations also on the anim bp we will uh, create a few more uh, states uh, state move left pull Connect these two also. Now we will add the transition logic. So here, uh, before we add the transition logic for this, we have to avoid uh, character. Uh, going to this going to this state when it is in full hang so here and an and and get full hang Okay, now copy this and we can use the same logic here just uh, remove the not from here and we can copy the exact logic here and uh, paste it here and similarly here also the same logic applies and for uh, entering move right pull copy the logic from here we have to add the full hand check Copy this and we have to add the transitions between uh, the two uh, programs. this and paste it here 
and change moving left to moving right and similarly we have to change the logic here also moving left and position not and here also Oh, we will add the animations here. Left, move left, pull, and move right, pull. Okay, let's test this out. Okay. Left is fine. We have to see why right it's not moving. Okay, we pasted it as it is, so full thing should be true here. Okay, so this looks fine. So in next video we will see uh, about uh, transitioning from uh, brace hang to full hang. Thanks for watching. Bye.